Hello and welcome to Microsoft Hates Greg. All right, so here is a video I've been wanting to make for a while. Ever since this whole no calculate thing became, well, a thing, uh, I've been wanting to release some no calculate versions of some of the common time intelligence uh, calculations. And yes, I, I finger quoted, you know, both time and intelligence because they equally don't really apply to Power BI's time intelligence functions. Okay, one, they aren't very intelligent, and two, they don't involve time, <laughs> they involve dates. Um, that's why in Power BI Cookbook Second Edition, uh, Brett Powell and I called Chapter Six "Getting Serious About Date Intelligence." Uh, and speaking of, speaking of uh, Power BI Cookbook Second Edition, uh, the the recipe the uh, the PBX for Chapter 6, Recipe 3 is what I'm going to be using as the basis for my PBX file uh, in this video. And in Chapter 6, Brett and I present a nice way of creating a date table along with like some helper columns and it's all in Power Query. Um, and yes, Greg can use Power Query, right? And, and we presented some fairly standard date intelligence DAX measures that used uh, Calculate. And yes, Greg can use Calculate, um, including like year to date, month to date, week to date, previous year, previous month, previous month to date, uh, year over year, year over year percent change, et cetera, et cetera. And we recommended to not use uh, the built-in time intelligence functions uh, for this because they don't really work well with fiscal calendars or at all. Um, so better to not rely on them at all and instead use a pattern that could easily be adapted to either a standard calendar or a fiscal calendar. So I've been wanting to revisit those calculations for a while now. And sure, I've done a bit of it on this channel here and there, but it's been kind of spotty. Um, so, you know, and since then I've learned some new tricks. Uh, so this video is kind of the first in a series, uh, which I'll be taking more extensive look at these date calculations. And we're starting with, uh, again, we're going to start with uh, year to date, quarter to date, month to date, and week to date. Uh, so why are we starting here? Well, one reason is that all of these, except for week to date, have a specific DAX function that's dedicated, you know, it's purpose built to do these. OK, so I wanted to compare the performance of the kind of standard calculate patterns for calculate for date calculations, the built in functions and the no calculate versions. All right. So now I know there's a million different ways of creating date table strategies out and, you know, creating date tables and different strategies for them. And I'm also a big fan of using date offset helper columns like what Brian Julius touts all the time. Uh, but, but what if I were to tell you that by just using a single date column and no helper columns and without using calculate or any of the DAX time intelligence functions that I could create a DAX measure for date calculations that performs, that performs up to five to six times faster than functions purpose built for the task in an order of magnitude faster than using explicit calculate function. So. You probably think that I'd hit the skull, the, that skull bong one too many times, right? And, and yes, it's essentially mandatory at this point that I that I at least make one skull bong joke into like every single video from here on out. So I've kind of covered this approach before. Uh, there's a 2018 article out there um, called Time Intelligence the Hard Way, right? And, you know, it's <laughs> I love looking at this stuff. Um, it's out there in the quick measure gallery. I love looking at this stuff. It's like time intelligence features of Power BI, might, you know, are fantastic. But let's be honest, they can also be a little frustrating at times. But this is this was written a long time ago when I, you know, when I was at, when I was an MVP. Um, and it's this is a right because let's be honest, you know, <laughs> now that I'm not an MVP, I can just speak plainly and honestly, the, the DAX time intelligence functions are just absolute utter garbage. Um, and I'm going to prove that they're garbage in this video. Anyway, I digress. Uh, the article has some ways of doing some different kinds of, of uh, date calculations, uh, total year to date, you know, total, uh, yeah, a couple different ways of last year, total you know, last year to date, year, year to date, cha percent change year over year. Uh, and I refer people to this article all the time, but uh, Anyway, I digress. So let's uh, let's go back to this. Start taking a look here. So what I've done here is I uh, near to date and the rest of the pages are similar. I've got this uh, these tables. I've got two different versions of calculate. Um, I've got the version using like total year to date, and then I've got my no calculate version. All right, so let's take a look real quick. Um, and this is the one right here that we actually present in the book. Uh, so let me zoom in here. 
So this is the one we present in the book. So we're doing calculated internet sales and internet sales is just summing up the sales amount uh, from the internet fact table, okay? And then we are using, we, we, we put all of our dates into context. We then filter that so that the dates of the year is equal to the max of the dates of the year in context. And then the dates of the date is less than the max of the date of the dates in context. Okay, so it's basically it's summing up, you know, from, you know, that has to be in this year and it has to be before the current date. Um, and so that was when we presented in the book. Um, I wasn't not sure why we used all in that case. So I created another version um, which does the same thing, um, but basically doesn't put doesn't use the all right because calculate can, you know, replace filter context. Um, then I created this one here and nope, it's this one total year to date. So total year to date and it sales dates date. So it's very simple, right? In terms of straightforward. And then I created this one here. Um, and this one is my no internet, no calculate internet sales year to date. So what I'm doing here is I'm grabbing the max of the date, right? I'm grabbing the year of that date. I then you summarize all of the fact internet sales table or the fact internet sales order date, uh, which is the relationship that exists uh, between the two, uh, where the year equals the year of the order date. Um, and the sales, uh, I create two two columns, right? Year. So I create the year of the order date, and then I do the sales, and I sum up the factor net sales sales amount. You can see that there. I could have just used the measure, I guess, right there, but whatever. And then I do a result. I do a sum x where I filter that table where the year equals the year variable, and the order date is less than or equal to the date variable. And then I sum up that sales column, right? And you're probably, you know, I'm sure there's some, there's at least one person that's like. Because I've been roundly criticized for my back, like this is garbage DAX, Greg. You know, you're not using calculate, you're using summarize, you know, oh, this is just garbage DAX. Okay, fine. But if my garbage DAX performs 10 times faster, you know, or six times faster than your non-garbage DAX, then isn't your non-garbage DAX really the garbage DAX? Just saying. So we're gonna we're gonna prove this out. Um, we're gonna live on screen. All right. Um so let's go to performance tab. We'll collapse that. And you can see here my selection. So just so everybody knows I'm I'm not lying about stuff. Calculate is this one. My no calculate is this one. My total year to date is this one. And my calculate is this one. So I've got these all labeled in that. All right. So let's go ahead and refresh the visuals. Okay, so let's take a look here. So you can see already no calculate came back. You know, pretty fast, but you're not. That's not an order of magnitude, Craig. All right, well, let's start digging into this. So my DAX query came back in 114 milliseconds. Let's see what they purpose built. 705 milliseconds, so seven times faster um, than a purpose built function. They, the, the the people at Microsoft, this, they built this total year to date function for this sole purpose of doing this calculation, and it performs seven times worse in the DAX query than my function that I wrote that, you know, people have told me is garbage DAX. Seven times worse. If you have one job total Y to date, you know, and you fail. I mean, just miserable failure. Um, so then we have like, uh, then we have like one, one four, <laughs> the calculator is 1,441 milliseconds. So again, that's an order of magnitude, uh, 10x, right? improvement and still 10x even without the all statement in there right and this is this is consistent this is absolutely consistent in terms of i refresh these visuals again you know boom look at that thing come back you know refresh the visuals again boom look at it come back and again it's always the same no calculate 98 milliseconds versus 643 so we're talking about 6x right and then calculate you know again another 10x so i mean it doesn't it's always the same so there you go, um, and and this is consistent for you know year to date, quarter to date, month to date, week to date. And I'm not going to drain all of these uh, in as as much detail, right? But they're all because they're all basically the same. Um, so if I go back here and I do this, and I come down here and let's take a look at this quarter to date. So here it is, quarter to date, right? This is the same. Uh, quarter to date two is the same as before. You know, we're just using quarter and look, I mean, we're using these, you know, year quarter number, we're using these helper columns in here, right? Um, in order to, to be able to do these calculations. So, you know, these cal using calculate and, but for here, we're just using the total QTD, QTD 
There we go, total QTD. And this one is essentially, it's almost the exact same code. Um, but as you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm kind of inventing these, these uh, that quarter year, that year quarter column, like on the fly, right? By taking the year of the date times 100 plus the quarter. And then, you know, then same thing, even in my summarize, I'm doing year, you know, like, well, that can't be faster. You're doing that calculation for every row in the table. There's no way it can be faster, right? But other, I mean, other than that, it's the same, right? It's the exact same code, essentially, as my year to date. So, but again, we can open up the performance analyzer, close that, clear this, and let's refresh. So again, now you can see that came back, you know, the visual display came back, you know, and all this sort of thing. But you can see, oh, that's slower, Greg. Oh yeah, well, look at the DAX query. 37 milliseconds versus total quarter days, 182 milliseconds, right? And calculate is 267 milliseconds. And calculate, you know, the other one is 369 versus 37 milliseconds, right? And it's always the same. 51 milliseconds, 161 milliseconds, 255 milliseconds. You know, it's just faster. There's just no getting around it. 84 milliseconds. Maybe this one's close. 148. We're still almost twice as fast, right? 271. So, you know, <laughs> faster. All right. So let's took a, like a, a month to date. Month to date is pretty much the same. Again, I'm probably I'm going to get less and less uh, going into. I'll I'll, I'll, the, I'll get the PBX out there so that people can take a look at it. Let's take a look at this guy. Um, Back to internet sales, total month to date is using total month to date, surprise, surprise. And these are basically the same, right? Same, we're using the year month number as a helper column. In this case, we're using, again, year month number as a helper column. And for this guy, we're not, we're using year and, you know, plus month, da 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 da, same, same code, right? Come back to the visual. Uh, let's clear it. No, clear, refresh visuals, refresh visuals, refresh visuals, see the no calculate, 68 milliseconds, total month to date, 78 milliseconds, closer, 124 milliseconds, and 116 milliseconds, All right, no calculate, 33 milliseconds, 78, so we're twice as fast, 114, 91, all right, no calculate, 36, total month to date, 73, again, twice as fast, right? In terms of the DAX query that's being uh, handled by the engine. All right, so then the last one, of course, is week to date. We do not have a week to date, func total week to date function in uh, Power BI, but we have, here's the week to date, it's the same thing. We're using a year week number, you know, as our helper column. And here's the two, year week number, we're again using it as a helper column. And this one is basically the same thing. I'm using year plus the week number, right? So and it's the same code basically um, as the last ones. So again, we'll do this performance again, refresh the visuals, refresh, refresh. All right, let's take a look. 68 milliseconds versus 72 versus 73, 47 versus 52 versus 62, 41 versus 51 versus 76. So as you can see, I mean, there's not as much difference at the week level um, as with the uh, the other calculate versions. And maybe Brian could do statistical analysis and say, eh, there's no real statistical difference. Um, but it's always faster uh, from a DAX query perspective. So, so. Whose stack code is garbage? I'll let you decide. And that's all I have for this video. Have a good day.